Thank you all again for joining me on my learning journey. As you may know, T2L Academy is an initiative that I started with the mission of teaching to learn. So I learn, and then I share with you and teach, so that I can learn better and hopefully in the process, I can help you learn too. So today I'm going to be sharing my learnings on this awesome magic number, and it's so common that when you first see it, you you may not realize how fantastic it really is, but once you start to see the magic behind it, you'll start to get a sense of how beautiful it is. So this number is one sevens, or rather the decimal representation, the decimal representation of one sevens. But what's so special about it? So one sevenths in decimal form is equal to point one four two eight five seven recurring. Two sevenths is equal to point two eight five seven one four recurring. Three sevenths is equal to point four two eight five seven one recurring. See the pattern here? So again, one sevenths equals point one four two eight five seven recurring. So the trick here is to to kind of label each of these numbers or note them down in your head. And you need to know the which one is the least and greatest and stuff and the way it is, is the numerator, the numerator of your fraction corresponds to the order of your numbers. So let me put it like this. Say you have three sevenths. You would find the number that's the third lowest in the sequence of 142857. Then your decimal would be the sequence of numbers, 142857, but it's starting with that third lowest number. So it would start with four, it would start with four, and then it would go through the 2857, loop back to the beginning and hit one. So let's try another fraction, say six, six sevenths. So we start with our sixth lowest number, or our highest number. Um, we go eight five seven, loop back to the beginning, hit one, and continue our arrow through to two. And it goes like that. So you're not even really scrambling the numbers. You're just starting the sequence with a different number and then coming back and hitting the numbers in the beginning. So let's. Um, Let's also put it this way um, as an easier way of understanding. So instead of just repeating 142857 once, since we know it's a recurring decimal, let's repeat it more than once just to see this. 142857142857142857, like so. And of course, this is continuing on. But the way we can see this is, okay, 142857 is 17. Now, 285714 is 2 sevenths. 428571 is 3 sevenths. 571428 is 4 sevenths. Um, Seven one four two eight five is five sevenths, and here let's go eight five seven one four two is six sevenths. So again, the way to think about it is all you need to remember is that string of numbers 142857. And then with any numerator in the sevenths, 
you just find the number in your string of numbers that corresponds to that numerator based on the least to greatest order. So 0.142857 um, and you have n over 7, you find the nth lowest number. So 0.142857 um, and say you're saying 5, 5 sevens. So then you have to find the fifth lowest number in that string and then the, number, the string of numbers repeats starting from that number. So again, five sevenths would be point, then the fifth, fifth lowest number is seven, right? So seven, one, four, two, eight, five. So that's really it for this learning. Thank you for joining me. Um, I honestly, I'm gonna keep coming out with these magic numbers videos because I, I honestly, I can't wait to keep learning about these fascinating numbers and keep sharing with you because they truly are amazing. So I encourage you to um, give me any suggestions for future videos um, and topics below and just keep coming back for more magical numbers. See you in the next video.